Hello YouTube, it's time for episode 38 of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino with Inza Calvejo. It's been a good while since the last update because I got ill again. So there's quite a few things to show you guys in this uh, video. Let's start out by looking at the latest training report. Unfortunately, last Friday we didn't really have any relevant uh, pops. Let's instead have a look at the training estimation here. Hopefully we'll see Marassi, Sanotti and Camalini pop next week. Let's just have a look at the training overview. There we go. So if we have a look at Sanotti, he's at 2060 HTMS right now, but that will hopefully increase when he pops on Friday to formidable PM. We have uh, Francioni and Camalini at 2012 HTMS as well, but they will be rising a little as well soon enough. If you remember the last time we looked at this sheet, you'll notice two new players. Those two players are Leas and William, and these are wingers, which we hope we can add a little value to by popping them a few times in playmaking but mainly these serves as a, a way of storing money away from the board reserves which we are slowly approaching at this point we are 25 million danish corner away from that point at the moment the rest of the guys are progressing quite nicely and we hope to gain good profit from the profit players, obviously. That also means that we sold a few guys, Shell Danielson for 11 million and probably keeping him in the squad to train beyond the, the winger training we did initially wasn't the best idea, but we did kind of the same with Ricky Keck and um, as you see, he was sold for an additional 5 million compared to the price for Shell Danielson, so maybe that was all right for him. Looking at Marin Arashko, let's just have a look and see. We had him for just over half a season and we made a little less than 5 million on that guy and that leaves us in a good spot. We still have one more spot to, uh, to fill out and I will be looking to add a good uh, profit player at some point. We need to have a look at the last few matches because there's been a few of them. And if we look at the last game against SS Serravalle, we won five goals to nothing. We had Sanazzi opening the scoring in the 31st minute here, and we'll get back to Sanazzi because how good is he? Looking at the match the week before that, we actually managed to lose to a bot team, AC Chiesa Nuova. And uh, the only good thing about that game was basically Sanotti scoring. The friendly matches against the team in Denmark was uh, difficult in terms of gaining extra training because we had to practice some formation with the team in Denmark and we didn't get extra time in any of these matches. In the second of these matches, uh, the new winger Leos Lotka actually got injured, so not the best of luck in those matches. But I want to show you guys the top scorer list of the division because, in fact, we do have Sanotti at the top of this. And if it's any indication of his career to come, he will be an absolute beast. I'm sure of that. I mean, He's going to be so good. Next week, hopefully, he'll be popping to formidable playmaking. And if we look at the training plan, you'll see that we have... doesn't actually show because the training period is so short at this time. We have five weeks left playmaking before we move on to defending. If we look at this period, at the end of the period, all of the midfielders should reach formidable. And then we'll start, move on to 32 weeks of defending. Good stuff. I've saved this week's youth pool and let's see what we can get from Giorgio Bolini today. 15 years old, Roberto Motarella. Overall abilities are inadequate. Right now, I would say his winger capabilities are around weak and oh yeah, passable winger. Inadequate overall, 15 years old. Yeah, we do go with Roberto Motarella. Nice one. We'll see what he's able to to do in other departments of the game. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we can check that out. We are actually training playmaking at the moment and defending, so we should be able to stick him in the lineup. Let's just set the last known lineup and um, Mozzarella. Let's put him in playmaking position. I noticed something about the stadium. I can actually change the stadium name for free for once. And of course, I was thinking about something along the lines of Giuseppe Miazza or San Siro or something. But do you have any good suggestions? If you do, please let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to take them into consideration. 
Right, that's all for now. It's uh, good to finally be able to post a new update because it's been a little too long since the last one. I hope you liked the video. Please consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video. Thank you so much for watching. Once more, I hope you have a great week in Ettrick.